Mr. Lavender. I'm so happy to have you here. You're such a cool guy. Oh, looks like Ella came down. I wanted to get uh, some footage of her on the wood pile and see what you thought about it. Oh, good boy. Yeah, I like those check-ins. What a good boy. You want to go back on the hammock? That was pretty cool of you getting on the hammock this morning. Shock is checking out the chipmunks or whatever it is living in the wood pile. Hey, Shaka love. Hey, Shaka Shaka. How you doing, baby? How you doing? Oh, I don't want your paws. No paws, please. Hey, buddy. You gonna be one of those Velcro dogs? We're gonna have to watch. I think that's... not create separation anxiety in you. You know, I gotta be mindful of that. We gotta get you uh, enjoying and liking and feeling good about being in a, a crate. Don't you move, child. Let him chase you. I'd rather see them moving than on their back feet and their front paws off the ground battling it out. I like that. Good girl, Shy. Good girl, yeah. Give a little space, see if he still wants to play with you. He's gonna shake it off. I think that's a good time to take a little break. A little play break. Hey, let's check out, let's check out that toy I got for you here. Remember, you know, you know where to pee, you know where to poo. And if you feel compelled to bite something, this is your place, buddy, right here. All right, Mr. Lavender. Yeah, that's for you to play with. And you too, Shaka. Ow! I got a foot on my foot. I need to wear my shoes out here. Wee, wee. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? Can you get it? Good boy, you got it. Good boy, Mr. Lavender. You got it. Good boy, yes. Good boy, yeah. Good boy, yeah, get it, buddy. Get it, get it. Yeah, that's for you. You're fine, you're doing great. Yes, you got what? Boing, it bounced like that? What's going on? Get it, yeah, can you get it? Get it, yeah, get it, boy, good job. Good job, good job. You're doing so good, mister.
And here's my hunter, Ella. We gotta get her in some scent training, man. I love that. And they'll, um, so I guess hazard or parkour, uh, depending on how you look at it, but they'll often climb on top of that wood pile and then work their way on top of this wood pile. I think it's okay for like agility and building confidence. If you think it's too much of a risk, well, huh. I don't know if I want to open those can of worms. I guess I'd have to move it or keep them away from it or yeah. I'm not sure. My gut tells me that uh, canines have evolved to know how to live with uh, dead trees laying around. But if you think that's not the case, and I'm setting them up for injury or failure, too much risk, well, I guess now's your chance to, uh, to let me know about that. I don't know how I feel about you with your paws on the table. I think if this was inside, we'd be working on off. But you just look so good. I didn't want to take you away. You're so handsome. I wanted to get the footage of you in those white boots, those white paws. So yeah, they're, they, uh, they seem to, everyone seems to be getting along. Thank you for um, trusting these wonderful dogs to my care. Um, I'll do my best not to let you guys down. Got anything you want to say, Lavender, to the team? So there's, um, we're in proximity to small children here. My neighbors have small kids and they have guests over and they kind of socialize in their uh, outside area, which is adjacent to my yard. And then over here we have children at Kirby. Wanna go back to the house? All right, bud, let's do it. Let's do it. Look what I found. Look at this. Anybody interested in something like that? You like these things? You like those things? You wanna go get it? You got it, Chai? Okay. Got some poo that I gotta pick up out here. You wanna go back in the hammock, Mr. Lavender? You wanna get back up here? Let's give it another shot. You did so good at this morning. You wanna come on up? Come on up. Up, 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 up. Come on. No. All right. I was surprised the, the first time he saw this hammock moving and kind of blowing in the wind, you know, it, it startled him, it spooked him. And then the next time he was around it, he was ready to take it on and jump on it or go up on it with permission. I could see that he wanted to get up there and I held it stable for him and he climbed right up and <laughs> became uh, the backyard king in the hammock. The only issues that I've seen with him uh, so far, it was, it wasn't quite resource guarding. He had a nice game of tug with Shaka. 
Um, and then when he had something, he wasn't ready to give it to me or let it go. I had to, uh, you know, trade him for a different object. And then another time I did, close your ears. <laughs> I did use compulsion where I just kind of held his collar and held the, um, the thing that he was holding to, um, and just kind of waited and let him know that I wanted it until he, uh, until he released it. And then I, I praised him and gave him positive reinforcement for releasing it. But he hasn't seen, I haven't seen like the resource guarding over food or treats. And I haven't really seen it to too much other than the incident I just explained with, with the Frisbee, with one of these Frisbees. And I got some footage of that if you guys need to see it. Good boy. Nice settle. Good boy. And the other issue, the only other issue, I have a, uh, a footrest, like a thing in front of my couch that he decided to uh, lift a leg on and, <laughs> and mark. Um, and I happened to be right next to him. I caught him there in the act. And I just kind of gave him a, a no, no, no. And let's do that outside and just brought him outside right away. Nothing over the top, nothing like threatening. He didn't seem to have like a fear response. He did, he did kind of look at me and know that I was saying no. And, um, and then he did seem willing to go outside. I've caught him doing that a couple times, you know, some more peeing and he's always been outside. So he had the one, the one little hiccup inside with the pee pee and that's it <laughs> so far. And I was prepared for that thinking that I was going to be taken on Utah so, you know, no big deal. I am going to make some changes to this backyard space here. Having the dogs run free in the backyard has killed the grass too much. I want to have a space back here for my son to play soccer. So I'm going to, and there's some like uneven spots in this field. So we're gonna actually, we're gonna put a fence up, another fence from the edge of this garage directly across to that fence. And we're gonna take the dirt from this area, dig it down four inches, use that soil, the topsoil to fill in the low spots in this field, reseed it. And I'm gonna um, put artificial turf in this part and have it for like a, a dog area they can come out of the house into this area and even if it's wet or muddy or dirty or whatever this will be this will all be turf so the, the idea is that it'll be cleaner in the house they're going to attract less dirt in um the other idea is that it's going to preserve the the backyard for my son to play soccer in have a nicer yard uh third idea is have some degree of separation back here if i want to work with dogs outside but i need to um you know keep them separated i'll have two two distinct areas in the backyard that are separated by a fence it'd be awesome to have this uh, campus or this facility be like a extension of the uh, st hubert's uh, behavior department get some help <laughs> help with the dog yard under the condition that uh you know providing free rehab services decompression de-stress you know work with work with the uh the dogs that have kennel stress i don't know if that's a pipe dream or something that 